When it comes to wireless backhaul, there are a lot of questions about the difference between revolutionary and evolutionary. Over time, your legacy network is going to change. You'll need to add more types of networking technologies and capabilities to meet your customers' expectations. There are two ways to do that. One is the revolutionary way, where you completely replace your infrastructure every time to support new and future services and traffic upload. Another way is network evolution. With evolution, you get the flexibility to cost-effectively add capacity and services as you need them. So, let's say you have TDM voice traffic and everything's running smoothly, but you realize it's time to grow your services. So, you decide to add some data traffic, email and internet, for example. Instead of starting from scratch, you simply encapsulate some packet traffic right into your TDM traffic. As your business continues to expand, so does your customer demand for more data services. To accommodate, you simply adjust your network to support mostly packet with some TDM. Once again, avoiding starting your network all over again. Now, as time goes on, packet traffic becomes increasingly more popular than good old TDM voice. To meet the increasing demand, your network supports mostly packet traffic. But because TDM voice will still be a part of your service offerings, you encapsulate whatever TDM traffic there is in your packet network. By simply evolving your network, rather than starting over each time, you ultimately deliver superior performance over the longer term for less money. That's Evolved Wireless Backhaul.